Brad, how long have you been using the Hawkus Quick Pick round bale accumulator? I have used the Hawkus Quick Pick for five years now, Bert. How far is it from your hay field to your haystack? It varies. I have some haystacks that are within a mile, and I have some that are five or six miles away. If you were hauling from the one that was five or six miles away, how many bales could you pick and haul in a day? Well, I don't like to make it a real long day, but I, if I um, get a full day in, I can usually do between 200 and 300 bales. How do you like your uh, Hawkus Quick Pick bale, round bale accumulator? I really like it. I like it for a number of reasons. Um, it's a very, very sturdy, well-built machine to start with. It's actually overbuilt in areas of stress. Um, even the jack is really heavy duty. They didn't skip on anything. Um, it's very easy to operate. It's maneuverable. It takes you about an hour or two and you're right onto it. And uh, that certainly speeds things up. Um, Hawks manufacturing have been uh, great to deal with. There have been a couple of modi modifications and they put them on immediately uh, when I had it serviced. It is, uh, and as far as service goes, it is very easy to grease. They do not skimp on the points to grease, but they make them very accessible. You can get at them very easily and get greased on your way in the morning. One of the most important things, or if not the most important thing, Bert, is they handle, it handles the bales very gently. It puts the bales down in the same spot each time. It uh, doesn't cause any problems with friction, ripping twine, or net wrap depending on which one you're using. And there's obviously the machine doesn't have a lot of moving parts. Do you ever use any other type of round bale transport or accumulator? I haven't personally, but I've been around them. And one of the things I notice is that they are not very gentle on the twine or the net wrap. And they don't set the bale down the same spot every time. So you spoil a new spot each time you set it down. Have you ever used it to feed cattle? I have actually put bales out, placed bales um, in the fall in different pastures that I was going to just run them out on and it's yeah, obviously it's easy to operate so it's easy to put down the bales and um, I haven't done a lot of that. I don't do it through the winter time but I have in the fall placed some bales strategically for the cattle and it worked very well. So overall you say it's a really easy machine to use? Uh, very, very easy. And well built? It's, it's extremely well built. I, I, like I say, it's, it's overbuilt in certain areas, but they're usually the areas of stress, and we go through some pretty rough ground with mole hills and whatnot, and it is never, the frame, nothing has ever cracked on it. It's, uh, it's very sturdy.